Hello boys. Today we are going to talk about the upcoming characters Kiku Nojo and Kawamatsu. There was a V-jump leak about these two, so I decided to make my concepts for them. These are just my ideas, so don't criticize me if they are way off compared to what we get in the game. Let's start with Kiku Nojo. Full title Kazuki Clan Servant Kiku Nojo. She would be a blue attacker, as she is shown to have good strength and speed. I wanted to build her around the idea of her speed rather than attack, and that way increase her damage output. Her skill 1 should be called the only vulgar thing here is your heart, which should be the move she used against Jirashima. Kiku would fly forwards and slice the enemies in her path. Idiot would do a slightly smaller amount of damage, only about 500, but have a rather short cooldown, only about 20 seconds. Skill 2 should be called Kick and Nojo of the Lingering Snow. Kiku would put on her mask and her basic attack speed would increase. Her attacks would also get a slightly longer range. While in this masked state she would get a boost to her skill 1 cooldown, boosting it by 100% which means it recharges twice as fast. Skill 2 would last for 25 seconds and have a 45 second cooldown. As a character trait she would reduce the enemy's HP by 5% when they respawn if she killed them while in masked state. This refers to the line that she says her cuts are even felt in the afterlife. Her tray 1 should be basic attacker trays. Increase damage by 30% when in the enemy treasure. And when you KO an enemy, reduce cooldown on skill 2 by 30%. Her trade 2 however should be focused on skill 2, as it is what makes her do damage. When she uses skill 2, her attack would be boosted by 20% for 25 seconds, and when your team has less treasure, the skill 2 would get a boost to cooldown reduction by 50%. Let's go over Kawamatsu next. Full name Kazuki Clan Servant Kawamatsu. He would be a green defender, as he is said to be a sumo wrestler in the series. He was also the one who helped defend the graveyard with the fox. His skill 1 would be Yagira Rai Wow. He would attack with a series of sumo punches it would have increased knockback and reduced the enemy speed by 10%. It would do around 600 damage and have a cooldown of 30 seconds. Skill 2 would be River of Retribution. Kawamatsu would leap forwards with his sword and knock the enemies back. It would reduce the enemy's attack by 20% and do around 700 damage. Its cooldown would be around 40 seconds. As a character tray, I said that his last attack in his combo would have a knockback effect, like a sumo punch. His tray 1 would defend a trays and increase damage in his own treasure area. And when inside your own treasure area, you would get a 50% boost to skill 1 cooldown reduction, helping you to deal damage. His tray 2 would be focused on heals and damage reduction. He would heal 5% of his max HP when he knocks back an enemy. He would also get a 50% damage reduction if HP is over 80%. That was my idea for the upcoming characters. Feel free to comment on anything, but remember that this is just a concept, and anything might be different from the real characters.